Hi there, home learning heroes. Welcome back to Mr. Donald's home where we are learning together. Learning heroes. Today we're looking at another big book. It's called Happy Polly. And we could all use a little happy around us today. If you remember from Unit 16, Polly is a machine and it eats rubbish and spits out tiny little bags. It's quite an interesting machine that the kids built. So today we're gonna to read it again two times. The first time will be for the content words to understand what we're reading. And then the second time will be faster for fluency. So you can follow along with me. Let's begin. Happy Polly. Polly was a very happy machine. She liked to play in the park. She went down the slide. If I asked you, how does Polly feel? I think you would say happy, excited. Polly was a very happy machine. She liked to swim in the pool. She jumped in the water. I can see that Polly is very happy, but what about the children? I don't think they are very happy at all. Polly was a very happy machine. She liked to dig at the beach. She dug a big hole. Dug is the past tense of the verb dig. I dig, she dug, dug. You might not have heard that one before. There again, the kids are not so happy with Polly. Let's read. Polly was a very happy machine. She liked to go to the zoo. She played with the monkeys. Look at her swinging with those monkeys. That looks like fun. Polly was a very happy machine. She liked to go to the pet shop. She scared the fish. You know, that's not very nice. If you go to the fish shop, don't scare the fish. Polly was a very happy machine. She liked to go to school. She picked up all the rubbish. Now that's a good thing to do. Do you ever pick up rubbish at your school? The children were very excited. Why? Maybe because Polly is a good machine and picks up all the school rubbish. Now we have a list of our content words. I want you to pause the video here and run down every single one. Make sure that you can read them all. Just start at the top and go down, 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 down. And if you don't know one, maybe ask for some help. Same on this side, two columns. All these words are great to practice. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the beginning and we're gonna read it again. This time we're reading for fluency, so we'll go faster and we'll use our voices ups and downs. Ready? Happy Polly. Polly was a very happy machine. She liked to play in the park. She went down the slide. Polly was a very happy machine. She liked to swim in the pool. She jumped in the water. Polly was a very happy machine. She liked to dig at the beach. She dug a big hole. Polly was a very happy machine. She liked to go to the zoo. She played with the monkeys. Polly was a very happy machine. She liked to go to the pet shop. She scared the fish. Polly was a very happy machine. She liked to go to school. She picked up all the rubbish. The children were very excited. The end. Well done, home learning heroes. Before I leave you, I want to go back and think about our orientation. Yes, that's that big word. That means the who's in the story. The when does it happen and where? So let's go through our orientation. Who is in our story? It's pretty easy because it's in the title. Happy Polly and the machine. Happy Polly is the machine and the children. When, 
I can see it's over a uh, multiple days and I think it's in the daytime but I don't know when exactly and that's okay where does it happen well it goes Polly goes to different places like the swimming pool she goes to the beach and at the end she is at school helping to clean up rubbish all right what's that big word for all of these questions orientation correct now we can go to events what happens in the story i remember that polly uh goes down a slide she likes to jump in the water splash and dig in the sand she also picks up rubbish at school now this one's kind of tricky what is the problem in the story most stories have problems or at least something to do um, this one's a bit tricky, but if you remember the children, all the pictures, and you can go back to look, the pictures of the children, are they happy? If you look back, when Polly is digging in the sand and splashing in the water and jumping down the slide, the children don't look very happy. And that's a problem. But at the very end, which is now the resolution, how does the story end? Resolution, how does it end? How does the problem get solved? The resolution, how do the children feel on the very last page? Do you remember? What's that good describing word? Excited. They were excited because Polly had cleaned up all the rubbish at school and they were not mad at her anymore. So that's a good ending, I think. All right. That's the end of our story. You can go back through and try to read it again for fluency. And thank you very much. I hope to see you again soon. We'll read more stories together. Come back and see me. Bye-bye.